Hello, hello. We'll see if we can actually uh, find this thing. Oh, there it is. Excellent. What's going on, guys? Super K, what's happening? Uh, we have some issues with dogs going on here, so uh, Molly's trying to remedy that problem at the moment. Penny, how are you doing? Andrew, what's up? Oh, Bach and Cutter. Mark, how you doing? EDC dude. G-Man. Crud muffins. Hello, hello. You guys hearing me okay? Lighting good. Thumbs up. Sound is good. So, you know, we're just uh, hanging out here on the old Father's Day. Haven't really done a whole lot of stuff today. Uh, uh, one of our dogs has uh, seizures from time to time, so we had that to deal with today. He had a few today, which is uh, always makes for a, a interesting day. Yeah, lavender pants, face balls. Uh, just so everyone's clear, um, apparently lavender pants, uh, his mind lives in the gutter. But for anyone else out there that their mind also lives in the gutter... Uh, face balls is in reference to the actual balls that are in your face, uh, speaking about eyeballs, uh, not like teabagging or testicles or anything like that in your face. You dirty fuck. <laughs> so. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> hey, yeah, Molly's back now. Tojo, thank you very much, sir. We greatly appreciate that. Uh, sorry if I'm missing comments here. I, from my vantage point where I'm sitting, it's kind of hard for me to read them, so I need Molly here to peruse that stuff going on. Yeah, so word on the street is Hoot Gooch has become all the rage. Yeah, there. yeah, Hoot huh, Gooch. Penny? Hoot Gooch is uh, apparently becoming the thing on several channels, from what I understand. Happy uh, Father's Day. Sorry to hear about your doggy. Yeah, it's something we've dealt with for... Several years. It's yeah, been going it's on been... for a long time. It just... Uh, it sucks when it happens. It's just a bad deal all the you way around. You don't like to see your best dog. <laughs> Slicey dicey spamming the hoot gooch. Yeah. Nice. Oh my gosh. Nice. Super seal? Is that you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's super sissy Steve. Hi, Penny. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the dog situation sucks. Like I said, we've been dealing with it for years and we manage it with medication and whatnot, but he still has some breakthrough seizures from time to time and it just... Yeah, he's uh, had a rough go of it the last few months as well. He's had to have a port a couple times and... Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, it can be be rough, so... DTOM, thank you very much, Thanks, sir. Bud. Mr. Kluver. Bonjour, Bonjour bitches. bitches. <laughs> DJ, what'd you win? A uh, stiff punch to the ball. <laughs> so, uh, we have not... No, no, we didn't lose our dog. Yeah, we didn't lose the dog. We just, uh, our dog had, we have a dog, one of our dogs has seizures. He has epilepsy. Uh, from time to time, yeah. He's epileptic and has seizures from time to time, so... It's just difficult to deal with sometimes, and it's been rough here the last couple months, but... But he's, it's fine. Yeah, he had seizures today, a handful of them, so it was just a... Thanks, Zach. Thank you very much, Zach. We greatly appreciate it. Solaris for the win. Yeah, the Solaris is uh, is very interesting, and we're going to talk uh, quite a bit about it here. No, Slicey, uh, if, when he does pass away, it, I'm going to be ruined. Yeah. Uh, we do, uh, Daniel, we have uh, done CBD. Uh -huh. uh, as a matter yeah. of fact, we, we just polished off the rest of our Rice Krispie treats for him tonight. Um uh, and those came from Washington. Yeah. Uh, actually, no, those were Oregon. This dog mom will do whatever necessary. Yeah, Don't worry. yeah, we've we've done we've done all sorts of stuff, and it's uh, it sucks. But hey, Lindy Lou, what's up? Hello. Um, uh, yeah. So you know, it's uh, it is what it is. He's still but, the bestest boy. Uh, I was listening as I was setting stuff up for this. I was listening to Slicey Dicey's live and. There was talk about uh, Ditto, Jamie. the Grey Ghost, or in this case here, the Inferno. Uh, this is mm. still one of my most uh, favorite EDC knives of all times. Thanks, Knife Life. A treat for LA the dogs. Knife Life. Well, thank you very much, sir. 
or well, I guess I don't know that you're a sir, but we appreciate it. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this uh, this is just a fantastic knife. Uh, if you guys have never checked out the Buck Marksman or I would personally recommend this SK Blades version. Uh, it, you get it G10 instead of aluminum scales, and you get S35VN instead of 154CM. Lindy, he is a bull mastiff boxer mix. And he is the most wonderful puppy in the whole world. Yeah, his name's Walter, and he's a great dog. Oh, the Just knife a... review. I'll do a knife review sometime soon. Yeah, we'll do that soon. Um uh, we just we've had a lot going on and been super busy with work and all kinds of stuff. The Buck Marksman has a hawk lock question mark. Uh, yes, this is Charles a Charles Cha Grant. masquerading as tactical. <laughs> yeah, uh, Grant and Gavin Hawk uh, design. Uh, I think it's a G and G. Uh, I'm pretty sure G uh, Grant and Gavin designed the whole knife. I'm pretty sure, but it's it's certainly their lock design. And it's super fidgetable, um, as you can see here. Once you get it down, I've seen people do this a lot of different ways, but the way that I like to do it is I kind of hold it in a pinch grip, like here in my palm, and I push on the spine of the blade, and then with oh. my thumb, I push the, the lock that way just ever so slightly, and you can just flip it back and forth. And then, of course, you can spidey flick it as well. It's just a great, great knife. I'll have to check that out, Jamie, for some CBD. Uh, Sean Bryan says, I have a blonde brindle Great Dane, which, pff, love. Yeah, that's Great awesome. Dane. Um, and his name's Walter. Oh. He's named after Walter White, obviously. Ours, we like to go with old old man names for our boy male dogs. So well, and Emma. We've had, yeah. And, and females. We, yeah. Like, we like old people names for our dogs. Yeah, so our we've had a dog, Leroy. Yeah. A Walter, and we have Emma. Mo doesn't really yeah, fall into that category, but kind of. I mean, Mo works. Yeah, his name's actually Mohada, uh, but that's a whole different story. Um, so, yeah. I like the Tonto Marksman. Yeah, the, the, you can get the Marksman in a few different blade shapes. Uh, Welcome, Mad King Deuce. The, the standard Buck Marksman is aluminum scales with 154 CM blade steel, and you can get it in this drop point or a Tonto uh, blade shape. And personally, I like this G10 version, and the money difference, it's only like an extra 10 bucks or something for the SK Blades version, and you get G10 scales uh, with S35VN. Ah. This is the, what they call the Inferno. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell maybe but i did some custom work to this <laughs> this was blaze orange g10 uh, and i did this dark gray and kind of made it antique look so when you see it in person you can still see a bit of the orange coming through uh, but this is one of my favorite knives of all time great in hand pocket clip on it's fantastic super deep carry and it just works extremely well. Action on it is unlike any other knife out there. Weight is fantastic. It's just it's just a great knife. And hollow ground blade, awesome knife all the way around. Love Mutt, this knife. Mutts are the best crude crud muffins. Um, yes, to all the dog things. I'm How, reading them. I just, you know, this guy over here keeps flapping his lips so much. I can't talk to my people. Oh, here we go. Um... <laughs> Uh, Slicey says he does old man names too. Nice. Um, he had a rabbit named Norm, which I think is awesome. A rabbit named yeah, Norm. Yeah, love it. Uh, Steve Kluver, he says, I need to see how far the tip of that blade comes to the end of that Solaris knife when closed, please. Gotcha. There you go. Right there. It's, uh, very, very close to the end. Uh, when I do the full review of this knife, the geometry of this is something we're going to talk a lot about. Um, if you can see here, there's quite a bit of space from the thumb stud to the center line of the pivot, as well as from the flipper tab to the pivot. Uh, there's quite a bit going on on this knife, but we're going to disassemble it here tonight. Uh, I got the go ahead from David to do that, or Blade Banner, and it's a cool one for sure. Uh, this thing... Well, I, I won't even get into it. Well, you'll see it when I pull it apart here in just a little bit. Did you get the bombshell already? 
Uh, no. I've been asked so much about that knife. I don't know what the deal is. I know there's a couple people out there that have them in hand. I have no idea how they got them. Um, I, as a, as a Spyderco collector club, generally I get the knives before they release, just like with the Swayback. I still do not even have the email on the bombshell. So how people got the bombshell in hand, I, I know there was a previous bombshell, and so I don't know if they actually have the latest version, um, but I, I have not received anything about the bombshell. No email, no notification, no nothing, and I do not have the knife. So mm, I've had right. tons of emails about it, uh, but I, it, if in fact some there's a few people out there, I've, I've been told, I haven't seen it, but I've been told there's a few people out there that have shown them on YouTube, uh, but like I said, it, maybe it's the, the older model, or maybe it is the new one, and if it is the new one, I have no idea how they got it. Did you see the S90 version of the Marksman? I have not seen the S90V version of a Marksman. Charles, we um, are going to play a game for the giveaway, so um, just stay tuned. Yeah, buddy. at the end of the show tonight, we're going to be doing a giveaway, and it's a pretty good one, so you guys want to stay tuned. Um, yeah, definitely got some cool stuff that we're giving away. It's There's going to be one winner, and it's going to be on the show tonight live, and the winner actually gets to pick their knife, uh, which is kind of cool. So you're going to get to choose a knife out of a, a group of knives, as well as there'll be some other stuff that gets thrown in there. So miss... just to give you a little little sneak oh, peek or whatever, I don't know. Winchester, you missed dog talk and Justin flapping his lip about knives. <laughs> so, uh, well, G -Man, take it away because I'm getting some water. G-Man got his bombshell on Friday, but nobody cares because we're here to talk about dogs. Um, BJ, I don't know what you're doing, but stop it. <laughs> uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers in the chat. Hey, Charles, I'm OG Charles. Um, Charles Shaw, why did you change your name? You, you toy him with my emotions. Oh, yeah, you did miss a bit of hoot gooch, too. Apparently, we've started a trend, eh? Oh, and here's my nails, everybody, for today. They're a disaster because my dog was having seizures while I was doing them. So, oh, yeah, that looks like shit. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had a seizure this morning and then had another one walk right in the middle of her doing her nails. And so it was really chaotic. Um, yeah, the one so. time I didn't do, like, the UV stuff that uh, full through, but whatever. Yeah. I didn't know that that screwed them up so bad, but they look really bumpy. Yeah, it, it's a combination of a new um, polish that I have not used before. and well, Thank you, BJ. Yeah. My nails are looking excellent. Um, yeah, I, I just got them did. Got my nails did, got my hair did, you know. I want to paint yours. Yeah, right. Nice, huge, flat surfaces. <laughs> <laughs> nice, huge, flat surfaces. Yeah, kind of yeah. like my personality. They could oh, be worse. Yeah, go. thanks, Greg. They could be, but they don't look what, too bad on camera when I was Lori, looking. Uh, you don't have to do anything to be in the drawing other than just be here. You just have to participate. Yep, there's a, a game. We'll be playing a game here in a little bit, and as long as you're present, you have a chance at winning. You want me to paint Justin's nails on stream? Oh, boy. Here Will we go. Will do. <laughs> What was uh, the name of that knife? I don't know which knife. We're, this one here? Yeah, I don't know. This is the SK Blades Inferno. Uh, but it doesn't... <laughs> the If you look up an Inferno, it doesn't look anything like this one because I have modified this one. So Right, right Lindy? I, I do have a pretty good excuse this week. <laughs> How's the uh, Anno going, Lindy? Are you doing anything really cool with that machine yet? Um, I could, I cannot paint scenes on his nail. Oh God, they're so bad. Yeah. When you held them under the light, I could see the, the waviness to them. It's like still, oh, I'm just going to have to take it off. It's bad. <laughs> Andrew, um, I can assure you, I don't, I don't mean to, uh, blow the wind out of anyone's sails or anything. Uh, the Swayback is not one of the knives that you'll be <laughs> choosing from for the giveaway. 
I, I consider myself to be a nice guy, <laughs> uh, but but I'm not that nice. Okay, Sean says, please tell me the name of the game is Hoot Gooch. <laughs> it, no, the, please tell me the game is Name That Hoot Gooch. <laughs> name That Hoot Gooch. Yeah. That would be pretty epic, actually. We could just show a bunch of screenshots of cleavage, and then you could pair that up. Oh my God! Yeah, we, we no. That's a good idea. We might we might go down that road someday. <laughs> well, we're not prepared for that tonight, but potentially. Oh Lord, um, are you going to KC anytime soon? Uh, I will be. Yes, Chad. Uh, uh, I'm generally down. I mean, pre Rona, uh, literally, I was in KC like every other week, or actually, mm, pretty uh, much every week. Yeah, pretty much every week. Uh, but. Because of the Rona, uh, things have been uh, really screwy. But yes, I will be uh, going back down there probably, I don't know about this coming week, but but probably the next week. Um, but I'll, I'll let you know uh, when, when I'm heading down there. What do you think of this way back so far? I like this way back. Uh, it's, I actually like it more than I thought I would, honestly. Uh, it's got a super impressive hollow grind, which I I did not really pay that much attention to the stats on this knife because most of the time online stats are wrong anyway. Uh, like if you look this knife up right now, uh, I think it was on Blade HQ. It says it has like a three and a half inch handle. Uh, it does not. It has a four and a half inch handle. So I just generally don't pay any attention to online stats, uh, but I like it more. It's bigger than I expected it to be. Uh, I did not know that it was a hollow grind, and it is, and so I was pleasantly surprised there. Uh, as much as I did not like the clip in photographs, uh, it works really, really well in the hand. So I actually like the clip more than I thought I would. Uh, I still don't fully understand why they didn't do the wire clip, because all of the other Sleece designs have the wire clip on it. But, but it does work well in hand, so... That's okay, you're done. Can you can't talk about it anymore. Okay. Um, uh, Lindy says it's going good. Yeah, I've been testing it out on some titanium plates, and we've been working on doing the cracked ice finish and then anodizing it. So nice. I'm excited to see what you come up with, lady. Yep, there you go. Sweet. Um, Holly, uh, Charles, Charles Cha is who said it. Damn it. <laughs> um, I'm there now. It's Orange Scales G10. It's 125. You think this is the best one to get? I'm going to order it. I don't know. Are we talking about the SK Blades Inferno? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a fantastic knife. I love the SK Blades, either the Grey Ghost or the Inferno. Uh, the Grey Ghost, the reason I like the Inferno is because it comes with the black wash blade, back strap, clip, and all the hardware. Uh, the Grey Ghost, all the, the metal bits are satin finished. So, you know, if like obviously I changed the orange on mine, but... But I, yeah, either one is a great knife. And yeah, they're, you know, somewhere between 100 and 125 bucks, depending on uh, when you buy them. They go on sale from time to time. Uh, and I think the standard version's <laughs> like 115 from Buck with the aluminum scales and, and 154 CM. Do you know of any knife besides the Marksman that has that type of G&G &G Hawk lock? Not just like this. Uh, there's some other knives that are similar to this, uh, but not the exact type of operation. The closest knife to this I have, uh, let me grab it. <laughs> Slicey says your videos accidentally uh, convinced him not to get this way back. <laughs> okay, right on. Uh, the closest knife to the G and G Hawk uh, or the the Marksman or SK Blades Inferno or Grey Ghost is the Wee Black Cow. Uh, so this thing is a backlock, uh, very similar. I mean, it it the actual mechanics of it are almost identical. The way you actuate the lock is different, but the the operation of it uh, both are on bearings. And so when the when the lock is not or the blade is not uh, uh, either fully open or fully closed. It just flops back and forth. And same thing with the the marksman. Can you uh, it's on Anna, bearings. Can you heat Anno stainless? Yes. There you go, Jamie. Yes. 
Yes, if sir. I win the giveaway. I want the banjo knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're up in the ante a little bit from the banjo knife, but hey, by all means, if if you want the banjo knife, uh, I'll actually, call it to the highest bidder. <laughs> actually, you know what? Um, maybe we'll pick two winners, and there'll be a winner that wins sh- stuff that you've seen in our shit show. We'll just throw a shit show box together. Oh yeah, okay. And then the other person will win the stuff that we Great. actually planned yep. on. Move the shit out. Yep. You got it. So there you go. We're we're gonna pick two winners tonight. And one of you people are going to win uh, stuff that you've seen in our shit show videos. Uh, BJ says, if I win the go, I want the void. <laughs> you guys are a bunch of greedy motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Lavender Pants says, what are the options for the winners? You oh, get you, no options. You, you will find that. You get what you get. You don't throw a fit. <laughs> be <yeah>. grateful. <laughs> uh, you'll be presented with the options when we get to the giveaway portion. Uh, we are not at the giveaway portion. Be patient, children. Be patient. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. <laughs> um, stainless, I got a cryo for Father's Day, and the handle is poop. The handle is poop. Oh, no. You should get that checked out. That's gross. Yeah, yeah that, you that people. Would be, exactly. That would be nasty to be touching a handle made of poop. Slicey, are you triggered? Because if you are... Yeah, Zach, let's get I into that. I don't give a... I just looked over and I saw um, Zach's comment. We're going to tear down the Solaris. Okay. That's what I planned on doing. So let's do it. The one, the broken one with the really fast flipping. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, we, that you can put on a the, screwdriver the, and No, spin, he's or? talking about the Cali Legal. Oh, okay, okay. The blade that I broke. Gotcha. So, so this, for those that don't know, this is... Um, the Orion Solaris, and uh, this is Blade Banter. If you guys aren't checking out his channel, go and uh, give him a follow. Uh, his name's David, and he has a knife YouTube channel. He also runs, uh, kind of, he manages uh, the Apex Pass Around group, <laughs> and I am a member of that. Uh, and so he, and he's also, if, and maybe you guys can correct me, Zach, or somebody else that knows for sure, but I'm pretty sure he's the U.S. rep for QSP knives, I think. Uh, so this knife here is manufactured by QSP. This just, is his own design. Just a little aside, we don't really think you guys are greedy. Uh, we're just giving you shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 we're just joking. So don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Does lurk you Okay, now? so yes. yeah, Zach just said yes, correct. Okay, thank you, Zach. Um, so this is manufactured by QSP. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with QSP, they make some really nice stuff. Uh they do a lot of like kind of really nice mid-range stuff in that like uh, 50 to 100 110 $120 range. Slicey left, please do the giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said he was going to step away for a minute. Oh, gotcha. All right. So, uh, this here is called the Solaris. Uh, you can see and I heard this last night on Big Red's uh, channel, but uh, these three stars right here, uh, those sig- signify David's three sons. Uh, so Aww. a star for each one of his boys. That's nice. And I've also been told that the pivot collar and the backspacer, he's going to have mm-hmm. multiple colors of those. So those are kind of modular parts that you can swap around if you want to change up the accents on your knife. Uh, but this is a button lock uh, flipper. Uh, <laughs> you do also have the thumb stud there. And you have a choil that's made for a giant finger. So most of the time, choils are nowhere near big enough for my fingers. And this one is has ample space. Uh, you also have a titanium pocket clip. Uh, the blade steel is four, oop, oh, sorry, oh. 14C28N. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's tear into it. You guys make me laugh. Me with knives. You, he says, I am greedy. Banjo and poop knife. <laughs> um, and Winchester says, oh, I'm greedy. And to top it off, super stingy. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, as long as you guys can admit that. Right. That's okay. I can be stingy, too. So, hardware on this thing is uh, T8 pivot, uh, T6 body screws. And... The construction on this thing is uh, pretty interesting. 
So let's really check her close out. close to the Kershaw with the Hawk Law. Uh, yes, Kershaw induction is the one you're referring to. And yes, it is very, very close to that. I mean, it's a button lock, but... But the geometry is very similar to the Kershaw induction. And I would have had that knife here uh, to show you guys, but I actually gave that knife to my son's friend uh, yesterday. Uh, not even thinking about it, because I would have used it as a comparison for this knife. Well. But um, it's not not here. Yeah. These nails just keep getting worse and worse. It's You're so You're going to have to redo them. Bad. Well, I don't know what to tell you. So, you can see here we're riding on double row ceramic ball bearings. So, that's pretty awesome. Oh, <laughs> Lavender Pants says, I thought the three stars were actually a picture of stitches, which is pretty <laughs> pretty relatable thing for the knife community. Yeah. Um, I think it has more to do with, like, since it's Orion, it's like Orion's belt. Mm -hmm. And this particular model is called the Solaris. So, it's all about uh, the solar astronomy, system. solar system, stars stargazing so you can you check out the romantic the the liners here so it's kind of like a half liner scenario uh so you got these kind of triangulated uh liners here let me grab one zach said he just posted his review of the solaris and he's excited to get one to carry yeah yeah they're pretty cool uh for sure how so, much for a solaris um i think they're going to be around 75 or 80 bucks Somewhere in that range. Meat gazing? Or he's an alien. <laughs> <laughs> hey, C. Lemansky, what's going on? Welcome, Kevin. Kevin. Karen, what's up? So, yeah, the Solaris is definitely a cool knife. I'm not exactly sure when it's going to be available for purchase, uh, but uh, should be pretty soon. Uh, you do have a, a D-shaped pivot here. You can see that and the button lock works extremely well and i i just like button locks uh they're always fun and this one you know is just uh it's done well it's simple oh he's doing a kickstarter for it zach oh that's right i yeah i knew that you knew that i did know that BJ said it with the way those liners are done it'd be easy to do a mini or even an xl Yes, no doubt. David, you could, you're late. You could definitely, uh, definitely change the overall size of this very easy and keep the liners and and the mechanics all the same. But it's relatively easy and straightforward to assemble, disassemble, do all the things. Uh, you've hmm. got uh, the stop pin that goes right up here, and the double row ceramic bearings, obviously. Um, it, oh, no, 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 stud fishing. Oh, old stud in the house, huh? He says, he's sorry, he's late. That is unacceptable. <laughs> you will be on time, actually, well, it, on time. It's Father's Day. Early. He should He should have been. No, uh, you're his father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Here we go. Oh, so. Bye, Freedom Van. Gotta go do work. The uh, titanium clip on this thing is, is done very well. Um, really nice machining. And uh, you got enough space underneath the clip. Goes in and out of the pocket extremely well. So, you know, in my opinion, uh, for a budget-ish kind of knife, uh, it is just well done. You know, it's a button lock. It's, it's good materials. And you've got these pops of color. Uh, so... Yeah, it's cool, and I'll be doing a full review on this knife, uh, so we'll really get into the details on this thing, <laughs> but I thought you guys might be interested in checking out the internals on this knife. Super K just asked, <laughs> what did you get your pops Justin for Father's Day, stud? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nothing, Super K. I got nothing He's from Little Stud. He's a grateful little bastard. Yep. <laughs> yep. A good button for under 100 and not in CR. 8CR is really compelling. It is. There's not, you know, there's not too many options out there uh, for a decent button lock. Uh, really, the only two that I know of that are in this kind of price, or, or well, they're actually cheaper than this one, but uh, the uh, Real Steel Griffin. 
is a really great button lock, and it's also in 14C. Uh, and then the uh, Vector, uh, I can't remember. Uh, What's your Vector, Victor? Yeah, it's the, uh, what the hell's that? <laughs> the I'm Vector. Hoping. I can't remember. Uh, yeah. Somebody will, somebody will say what it is. LA Knife Life said, so I'm hoping so get Justin another banjo knife. <laughs> <laughs> Tangram? Yeah, the Tangram. That's the Tangram. word I was looking for. Uh, the Vector. I Personally, I'm not a big fan of the Vector. It It's too small for me. Uh, somewhere. Here it is. Here's the uh, Real Steel Griffin. Type Tech uh, 2? Tie Tech 2. Mm. It's a Brian tie. <clears throat> but that two. the Tie Tech 2 is an, an 8CR knife. Uh, so I was talking about knives that have, you know, something a little bit nicer than <laughs> 8CR. Then Molly and Justin could play dueling banjos. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Now that you have it back together, can you check with the caliber for us? I How can... far the button has to travel before the blade unlocks? Oh, yeah, I could. Or another race car knife. <clears throat> Another what is that button lock knife. and what's the steel? Maybe if you would have shown up on time, stud, you would know. <laughs> okay, so this button lock is the Orion Solaris, and this is in 14C28N. This button lock is the Real Steel Griffin, also in 14C28N. So on the uh, Orion Solaris, the button... Sits 75 thousandths, proud of the scale. And let me see here. Chad really likes his Griffin, but not the Titac so much. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Titac. I've got the whatever. This one here. This one's a button lock. I can't remember. Uh, the BT Fighter. And the clip, it, it just digs into the back of your hand. This is a, another 8CR button lock from CRKT, and it's also, it's like in that $50 range. Uh, these two are about the same price, and, uh, you know, the, there's no comparison. The Real Steel is just a much, much nicer knife. Uh, Which one has the pretty mouth? <laughs> Lol. Titec crap. I'll have to check so, it out. Thank you. So you have to push the button in order to unlock it. You have to push it down about 54 thousandths because it measured 75 and now it's measuring 21 right where it releases the blade. So, so that's how far you have to actuate the button for it to release the blade. Um, Chad says the new ProTech Malibu is the best button lock yet. Yeah, but it's not in the $50 range. Mm. <laughs> it's not, it's not in the, uh, $150. I don't even, what's the Malibu? Two, 225, 250, somewhere in that range? I don't know. I'm sure it's, I have not handled a Malibu. I'm sure it's a gorgeous knife. I mean, all the ProTechs are, I, I really like ProTechs. They're really nice stuff. 189 but, to 199. Okay. All right. Um, I thought it was did just anybody over two, ask but... or know where you can still get one of the Tangram button locks? Um, I, I'm sure you can find them on Amazon and stuff, but honestly, this is just my own opinion uh, because I think the Tangram and the Real Steel Griffin are about the same price. I personally would go with the Real Steel Griffin. It's nicer materials and better action. Uh, it's just a better knife all the way around. Both are aluminum scales. Uh, but the real steel is just a much nicer knife for roughly the same price. You can buy this thing for, I think, 45 bucks, something like that, for the real steel Griffin. Or f somewhere between 45 and $55, depending on where you buy it. Could get a Mordax chisel. Yeah, a yeah, Mordax pry bar. Yeah, I actually called this knife the Pordax. This is the poor man's <laughs> Mordax. Uh, it's very, very similar in size to the Mordax, and, um, yeah. Winchester says I'm saving myself for blade banter. <laughs> yeah. Really? There you go. That's so special. Yeah, Congratulations. That's, that's commendable. David 
Bob's a nice guy, and I'm sure he'll whisper sweet nothings into your ear. Right. <laughs> so, real quick, we'll we'll grab a few other stats on this uh, Solaris here. So, handle thickness is 537 thousand. Yeah, 537 thousandths. Uh, blade stock is 114. 100, yeah, 114 or 115 thousandths, and Hi, tie it's addiction. flat ground blade. Uh, hey, tie addiction, what's going on? You're a father, but happy Father's Day to you too. If he you is are. definitely a father. Okay, there you go. He's oh yeah, sent him oh, yeah. In, yeah. Hey guys, 18 thousandths behind the edge on this guy. I can't remember. I can't keep you guys straight. Don't yeah, don't ever expect that of a, me. A ever. lot of people to keep straight, and don't take it personally. I hey, Kyle, what's going on? Can't remember shit. <laughs> you could just leave this way back in the corner so I have something to drool over. For no problem, hours. BJ. Look, I will. Where, where's it at? Oh, oh, my gosh. You're such a brat. There you go. Do you, do you want it open or closed? Stop or, giving I'll, money. I'll rotate it every once in a while like the rotisserie, BJ. <gasps> Stud fishing got his first job. Nice. Oh, look at you. My little boy's growing up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what do you guys think of the Solaris? You, everybody digging it? Uh, you guys have to go hit up Blade Banner on Instagram. Let them know what you guys think of his new design. It's cool. Uh, the Blade <laughs> has him. got a pretty serious polish on it. Show him the hoot gooch on that sway back. <laughs> uh there we go. Not really a, a hoot gooch on the old swayback, but uh, but the swayback's pretty cool for sure. Can't seem to find the real steel griffin anywhere. Hollywood uh, or Charles? Yeah. It, it it correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it every time he wants a knife, he always says he can't seem to find it anywhere because mm -hmm. he wanted the booby knife. Oh yeah. The the, the OG hoot gooch knife. Right. Uh, where's that? There it is. Uh, there we go. You BJ, guys, that's disgusting. You guys want to see some hoot gooch? There it is, right there. Hoot gooch. Oh <laughs> my god, BJ is disgusting. What BJ do? Oh, <laughs> gotcha. I saw it. <clears throat> uh, Still can't find the booby. I thought you were booby. a man of many women. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. The real steel Griffin shouldn't be <laughs> hard to find at all. You should be able to. I mean, they, they sell it on Amazon. It, you can buy it all over the place. Oh. Just go on Google and type in real steel Griffin. And that's how it's spelled right there. There's a really cool thing called the internet. And you can type words into it and search. And like you can choose shop <laughs> or just web to read. Yeah. It's really, it's an amazing tool. <laughs> yep. So, so the real steel Griffin, uh, definitely a cool knife. And like I said, I know they sell that thing all over the place. eBay, Amazon. I mean, tons of websites have it. That shouldn't be any issue to find that knife. Give me my own boobies. I can buy more knives that way. <laughs> the uncharted trucker says, what if you can't read? Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't know what else to tell you. Turn um, on, um, you know, like... He's going to have uh, to... Charles, Charles got like 40 girlfriends. He just had to have one of his ladies do it. Yeah. I mean, while they're feeding him grapes and fanning him and stuff, <laughs> they can look for a knife. Thank you for the life hack, Molly. I feel so much smarter. You're welcome. I can find only find the fake steel griffin. How do you tell if the steel is real? <laughs> okay. Uh, How do you know it's fake? Yeah, I, I, I don't know what he's... I'm, I'm guessing that's just a play on words because it's real steel, Griffin. No, oh, yeah, 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 steel. yeah. None yeah. of them are into knives. Yeah. Uh, I thought you said you gave, you know, all the ladies out in, where, California or something? Hollywood. Hollywood uh, with pink knives. That Those are your girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right on. All right, so uh, you people make me lol. <laughs> yeah, lol, lol, lol. <laughs> Purple so, Rough Rider boot knives. 
how many of you guys, uh, has anybody out there picked up this guy right here? This is the uh, Tucson TS-191. It's a Mazwan Mokhtar design. And she's a beaut. Beaut. Yeah, it's a gorgeous knife. Donated my last knife to my last wilderness survival student. So you have no more knives? You better go shopping. Yeah. That 191 looks nice. Been waiting on the sale. Yeah, Do you they're have nice. Have a 102. The 102. TS 102. I don't. No, no, I do not have the 102. Uh, <laughs> Chad says I have it because I have every two sons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know Chad's got a ton of two sons. Um, yeah, it's a it's a beauty though, and I'm looking forward to speaking of other. Uh, Related knives, I suppose. The Tepe uh, designed the Killage. Uh, hope I'm hoping it'll be here this week. Uh, I know Sean's sending sending one of those over, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. The I've never handled the Killage. I know there was already a run of them out, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. It's certainly a a good looking one. Gary wants to know where you get your two sons. Uh. Where I get, um, generally on, you can get them on eBay. Uh, honestly, that's my, that would be the place that I would direct you to go to get two sons is eBay, but you can get them from Amazon. Uh, and then there's several different U.S. retailers that are now carrying two son, but it's really hit and miss because they get, you know, big orders in at a time and then they sell really quickly and then they're out for a long time. So uh bj hill actually over at hilltop knives and gear he was just telling me the other day that white mountain knives had a bunch of tucson pens in stock so you can go and check there uh i i don't know if they're going to be getting i know that they have placed a large order with tucson so it should be pretty soon that they have a bunch of stuff in stock um but ebay would be that would be the first place that i would direct yeah you to go. chad also said la express yeah, I mean, you can go to AliExpress. I just don't have any experience dealing with AliExpress, so uh, I don't. I I know they sell them there, but I can't speak to that. Lindy wants to know: Have you ever handled a bowhead? Uh, she, yes, I have handled the bowhead. I don't have one right at the moment. Pretty disappointed with it. Um, yeah, it wasn't my favorite one for sure. I mean, it was well made and all that. I just didn't really care for the design, uh, but. I mean, I've got several two sons sitting here at the moment, and all of them are are extremely well made. Bye, uh, Killer Fitz. Killer Fitz, you out, man? Uh, the two hundred four Bronc, uh, the two thirty six. Maybe I can't remember the number on that one. Happy the one twenty seven to you too, Christopher Lee. Welcome. One twenty seven is one of my all time favorites. Uh, Here's the uh, 139, no, 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 which no. is very, very similar to the Swayback. Move some stuff out of the way here. Um, and the 124 girl, 124 or 121, I don't remember which. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, Stud, he says, I want a $50 off a purchase of over a $100 coupon for Kaiser. And his parents won't let him spend fifty dollars. I don't know. Did you tell him you couldn't spend? He couldn't spend. I did it's not. Okay with I did me. not tell him that. No. No, it's fine, Stud. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they won't let you use it, send it over my way. <laughs> uh, uh, so Kingfisher is fire. It is fire. The Kingfisher is a good one. Mazwan does fantastic work. Uh, right at the moment, these two are Mazwan designs uh, that I have laying out there. But yeah, he he does great work for sure. And Lady Lou's favorite is the shred carbon fiber Barracuda. Yeah, the Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. That's this guy right here, the one thirty nine. And I actually have this in shred carbon fiber and the weave carbon fiber. But, uh, yeah, definitely some really cool, really cool knives. Uh, they have some awesome stuff. Which one is the Kingfisher? Uh, that one, I don't have it here at the moment. It's in a box. BJ just sent it back to me. What Tucson is the one with no screws? 
Uh, that's the TS-88. Did, uh, did you like it? I, I did. Yeah, that's a great knife. Ooh, Barracuda. That's right, BJ. It's only good for their AliExpress store. Well, like I said, like... Gotcha. These parents did not say no. <laughs> That's another Tucson here, the 159. This one's an S90V. Awesome, awesome knife. And the 190. Another great knife. Uh, so, yeah, they, uh, they have a ton of them i mean it's an, it's crazy how many designs they have i also have uh speaking of other newer things that i got in uh the gavco nurse so that one's pretty cool <laughs> looking forward to doing a review on that one studs has i'll send it to you happy father's day <laughs> <laughs> nice well thank you son thank you oh what a good son <laughs> Uh, All right, so we're 45 oh, minutes in. Do we want to get into this giveaway? E. Yes, we right. should move along. Later yeah. on, 3E, e, um, we'll, uh, yeah, I'm sure we'll, I'll talk to you soon. Sorry to Have only one. bring bad puns and deadpan humor with too much emphasis on dead. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, I promise no. more pan. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. No problem, man. Uh, All right. So, we've got um, a giveaway that we're going to do here, and we have... Um, oh, look, Blade Banner. Yeah, Blade Banner. David, you missed it, sir. We uh, disassembled your Solaris. <laughs> so. Yes, BJ, you could talk to Justin after the... I, I just had farm <laughs> stuff I needed his assistance with the other day. You don't got to be mean. <laughs> I don't care. He's always on the phone, but sometimes I need him. Yeah, uh, Marty McFly. Yes, there is a real steel Griffin that is all high-end materials. So the, the model I have in my hands is aluminum scales with 14C, but the $200 one is titanium, has a carbon fiber insert. I think it's 204p or maybe it's m390 i can't remember uh, so yes they made a premium real steel griffin uh like i said it's carbon fiber titanium and higher higher end blade steel and it's like like well like you said 207 bucks so yeah there you go yeah but the real steel griffin's an interesting knife. It actually has got uh, needle bearings in here instead of ball bearings. Which so, do you prefer? Blade Banner wants to know. Which the Griffin versus the Solaris? Um, I well, I I'll talk about that in the the uh, review of these. But to me, these are two very very different knives. The, I know a lot of people are going to compare them because they're both button locks, uh, but. But in my opinion, that's where the similarities uh, stop. Is they're both button locks, and and you know they both have 14C28N. But in my opinion, these are very two very very different knives. Um, so I thought that they were going to be similar, and and now that I have both in hand, I don't think that they are at all. So um, fun. Yeah, I think I think it'll be interesting because I, these are two that I'm definitely going to talk about in the review. And the reason why I don't think that they're so similar. That would um, be good info for people that yeah. are looking. Yeah, but I think they're both great knives. Um, I think they're they're uh, great in their own uh, uh, areas. And But, yeah, I really expected them to be very, very similar because I looked at both of them as budget button locks with very similar materials. But... Uh, yeah, now I have a, diff a completely different opinion. <laughs> so I really kind of want to keep that uh, for the review. Uh, and I don't really want to turn this into the review. But yeah, so I really like the knife, uh, David. And I, I know that you're curious and whatnot. Uh, but you'll just have to wait yeah, and see. <laughs> I, I think it's great. Uh, and yeah, I have a lot to say about it for sure. So, so, but thank oh, you very much for sending it along. It's cool. And I think everyone enjoyed uh, seeing the inside of it. You know, being on double row ceramic bearings is really awesome, um, especially for, you know, a budget knife in this price point and to have a, 
uh, milled clip, and yeah, there's a lot going on there. It's really awesome. Soup's coo. So. What were you carrying today? Dirty um, towels to the laundry room because yeah. we kept cleaning up dog things. Yeah, yeah. Today was kind of a crazy we day. We didn't so. go anywhere. We didn't. Yeah, anywhere. we didn't go anywhere. We have to do a anything. sick kid too to yeah. boot. Uh, aside from the dog, we have a kid with a severe case of strep throat. So there was that to deal with too. So yeah. So, um, you know, I guess if if you could say it, what I carried today would it be this because this is what I had with me today, but it was more kind of laying on the table and I was just playing with it as I walked by kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but yeah, the Solaris. Uh, all right. Well, so, let's get into this giveaway here. Yeah, let's do it to them. Okay. So first things first. For the giveaway, you, the, the, the person that wins, we'll go ahead and leave the sway back for those that want to see it. I know BJ does. Keep uh, in your pants, BJ. First things first, uh, you're going to get one of each of my stickers along with some other stickers. So uh, there'll be some others, but just to show you, the ones that you're going to get uh, for sure will be the ones on screen. And then I'll throw some other ones in there. I just don't have them out here at the moment. So you'll get all of those plus the sharpening supplies. Uh, they've been very generous to me and... and uh, Gave me some, uh, the, they're the ones that supply the straps for the TSA, uh, which we have the TSA coming up in a few weeks, uh, Sandvik Steel. So if you were to have a Solaris, this one could be entered into the TSA this month. Uh, but anyway, so you'll get uh, a plethora of stickers in this giveaway. You also will receive, you want to hand me that? This right here, this is Hi, the Jazz. Welcome. You're work, late. You're work grounded. Sharp, uh, guided field sharpener. It's a great sharpener. I love mine. I use it constantly. Uh, let me grab it real quick. Ooh, nice. New stickers on the gun case. You got your stickers, Penny. That's good. Nice. Do you like the stickers, Penny? So here's my uh, guided field sharpener. And it, as you can see, it's been used and abused uh, a lot. It, yeah, they're great sharpeners. The diamond on them is very, very good. What the hell is a plethora? Uh, I have, I want a bunch of stickers. So you want a plethora? You want a plethora of stickers then. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. So you will receive stickers, a guided uh, field sharpener. Oh, Lindy Lou's got a knife wall she puts her stickers on in her nice. knife case. Yeah, Justin puts them on his knife case, too. Yep, I have a bunch on my knife case. And then I also do things like sticker up my tool cases. Like, this is the <gasps> case for my uh, calipers. Penny says she's... Got stickers she's, all over it. She's strap, uh, scrapbooking all you guys. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. That's cool. Yeah. Right on. Okay, so... Okay. So, uh, we got the the sharpener, the stickers, and then you will get to choose from one of these four knives. Just one. You get to pick one. Okay? So, uh, what we've got here are... Oh I, my I was going to choose one, and then I didn't. Um, and I thought, whoever wins it, I'll just allow them to choose. So what you what the what you can choose here is either yellow handle or black handle, and you can choose either serrated or plain edge uh, blade. And just to show you real quick, I'm just gonna grab one of these. So what this knife is is the Spyderco Pacific. It is uh, a good size <laughs> knife, and they're hollow ground. Uh, both the serrated or the plain edge, they're all hollow ground. They're an H1 steel, so they're completely rust-proof knife. Uh, really cool knives. Uh, and like I said, so this one here would be yellow plain edge. This one's yellow handled with fully serrated. Stop. Do you have those stickers on your hydro flask? Are you a gonna, Visco girl? I'll pull out the black serrated one here Ooh, so you, you can Zach. see. Zach gave us four oh. nine and nine. That's well, thank very you very nice. much, Zach. I greatly appreciate that. So here is uh, 
the, the fully serrated version there and the black handle uh, so you can see what that looks like. But you get to pick your knife from these, uh, these four. So, and then um, I actually have... <laughs> Winchester. He says, quietly putting away my hydro plate. You're a Visco girl, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, I also have got another item uh, for this giveaway. Same but, diff, stud. <laughs> but that's going to be a surprise because I actually left it in the other room. And I'm not going to go all the way over there to get it right at the moment. Okay. So, so that's just going to be a surprise. Um, yeah, just so. A surprise. Yep, that one's a surprise. All right. So the way that we're going to do this gift uh, giveaway is we are going to pick, uh, we're going to do similar to what Zach does. Uh, we, Molly and I talked about this before the show, and <laughs> just for ease of doing it. Um, thanks, Slicey. He gave us $5 and oh. said, can't be outdone by Zach, and thanks in <laughs> advance for my black plain edge. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Um, so I... Uh, yeah, uh, just for ease of doing this, and uh, we're going to do the number game. Uh, you'll pick a number. Um, that number is going to be between 0 and 250. <laughs> and it has something to do with with us on this channel. And uh, so it's between 0 and 250. Uh, actually, just... write that down bigger in the middle. So, because then we'll fold it up and put it out there. I forgot to do that. Okay, so each person, don't guess yet. Nobody's guessing yet. So those guesses don't count. <laughs> Send him bribes. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you, David. <laughs> Thank you, David. Um, wait until we tell you to start. Yeah, not I'm not start paying yet. attention yet. So I'm not going back. Yep. Yeah, we're not paying attention yet, so just hold on a minute. We gotta get things. Oh, good God. Piper down, beaches. Everybody, stop! Don't guess yet. Nobody guess yet. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna start this. Give me hit. that. What? I need that. Okay. Okay. So, I'm gonna fold this piece of paper up that we wrote down our number on, and I'm gonna put it out here, and. Uh, here it is, Thanks right there. The stop signs for reference. Yeah, Zach. yeah, Zach. Everybody's quick with that stuff on JB's channel and on yeah. Zach's and stuff. Okay, so so <coughs> just so we're clear, this particular giveaway, and then we're gonna do a second one uh, for the shit show box, uh, which we won't get all that stuff out to show you. So that one will just be a full on surprise. Um, but. Uh, so it'll be for the sharpener, one of these four knives, stickers, and then I got one more thing that's in the other room. Okay, a number between, from zero, zero to, to two, 250. To 250, Wait yep. till we say yep. to guess. And just, uh, you'll see the start come up on the screen. And once you see start come up on the screen from me. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse then me. You can each do... person gets one guess. We'll let it go for like two or three minutes just so everybody gets their guess in there. And whoever's closest without going over will be the winner. Okay? Everybody got it? Does anyone have any questions about how we're doing this? Nobody said a thing. All right. Let oh, her rip. Look at that fancy. Huh. You just comment. Yep, you just you just <laughs> Kyle puts in negative, negative 60. sixty-four. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. So okay. Everybody was like quiet, queued yeah, up, yeah, ready yeah, to yeah, go. Ready to go. Ready to go. All right. Well, so we'll let it go for a couple of minutes and you guys can all get your one guess in and We'll get the, or, well, I'll just leave that Lavender pants, there. you get one guess. <laughs> yeah, lavender pants, throwing down 100 guesses. You fucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, your first guess will be the one that we take. So, if you put in a whole bunch of guesses, it, it, it'll just be the first one that gets chosen.
So, all right. Yes. Yep. One yes. guess. Just on, just oh, one guess. Oh no! When we get a troll. In Super the Sissy of it. Steve comes in, coming in Suck. during the middle. My. Steve, throw a number out between zero and two fifty. Quit. Yeah. Yeah. Balls. Yeah, we got it. Balls. They're in your throat. Throw a number out between two fifty and or zero and two fifty. <laughs> Forty three. There you go. Perfect. Um, so does he only has one? <laughs> <laughs> if any. Yeah. How are you doing, Steve? Did you have a good Father's Day, man? Yay, balls! <laughs> <laughs> Lucky 13, huh? All right. So, does everybody have their guesses in? You need a hint. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. I'm glad to hear it. I hope your daughter had a good day and you were able to enjoy the time with her. He says, how was yours? It was good, man. Uh, other than we had, we have, we went over it this earlier. It was quite but chaotic. Yeah, it was quite chaotic, honestly. One of our dogs is epileptic and occasionally has seizures and... So right off the get-go this morning, he had seizures and then had a couple throughout the day, which just sucks. And but a kid with strep. And... Yeah, and our son has strep throat right at the moment, so that's a whole ordeal. So it's it's actually been quite chaotic, but, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. Okay, so has everybody got their guesses in? Anybody out there didn't get their guess in? <laughs> Zach says, I think Lavender Pants has one more guess. <laughs> He put in like 412. Jesus. Uh, Super Steel said, I didn't know Molly had seizures. I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> that, that's fucking cute. Yeah. That's real cute, motherfucker. All right. So, did you, do you have an idea of who's closest without going over? Fuck no. Okay. Well, I'm going through it right yeah, now. I'm, going I'm looking. It too. Um, going through all the lavender pants, mother. <laughs> well, and all that's right. the other thing. So, actually, without lavender going pants. Over. Yeah, as of right at the moment, I think he's, his first guess is closest that I see so far. Give us just a second here, guys. We're looking. Do you see it? Yeah, I saw it. But then he guessed a hundred times after yeah, that. Yeah, I'm ignoring those, though. Ooh, wait a minute. Mm. And then Lindy Lou came in with the same exact guess. Are those two? Uh, are they the closest? And they tied? Still looking. All right. Well, while Molly's looking, I think Lindy Lou. And Lavender Pants, with his very yeah. first guess, are confirmed. the closest confirmed. Okay. Yeah, well, we got we got tied. And, and they tied. Well, that was awesome because we were going to pick two winners. So now we're going to have a flip-off for who wins the good stuff and who wins the shit show. <laughs> so the actual real number was 109. And if uh, for those that don't know, that is our post office box number. So I said that it was just a number that... This was associated with us on the show, and that was it, 109. So, Lavender Pants, Lindy Lou. <laughs> you assholes, you did not. What? I guessed 109, I guessed 109. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there were no 109s in there. Um, okay, so we're down to Lindy Lou and Lavender Pants uh, were the two. And how are we going to, what are we going to use for the tie break? Um, How do you want to do this? You want to flip a coin, or how do you want to do it? I don't. Yeah, we can just flip a coin. I guess I don't know. I can't be put on the spot like you that. Can't be put on the spot. All right, hold on a second. Let me get a coin here. Have them fight to the death. Yes. <laughs> oh, of course, Charles. Ladies first. <laughs> Lindy's taken. <laughs> Leave her alone. 
All right. I actually have a Spider Co coin, which I have never used for anything. Oh, he's actually so, being a gentleman. <laughs> what's that? Uh, he said, there's so few women in our community. And he said, ladies first. Who, Lavender Pants? Or? No, Charles. Oh, Charles. Gotcha. Thought he was just, you know, womanizing again. All right. So, so we have... On one side of this, we have Never Give Up, Spider Co. On the other side, it says Support Our Military and Law Enforcement. Who's who's which side here? There's the spider side and the non-spider side. Uh, Lindy can be the spider and uh, Lavender Pants the non. Okay. Well, I'm going to do my best to flip this under the camera. I have no idea how this is going to work out. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Jeff. All right, Jeff, you out of here? Right on, man. Thanks a lot. Um, okay, so let's uh, see if I can flip this under the camera and catch it and do the whole thing. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> there we go. Lavender pants. That's the non-biter side. Yeah, lavender got it. All right, so lavender pants. We're going to give the, you need to tell us which one, or well, I don't know. Do you? We'll give you the choice. Do you want the shit show package, or do you want uh, the field sharpener and the spider coat knife? Yeah, seriously, lavender pants. You are. You get to pick. So, do you want the legit, or do you want the shit show? <laughs> yeah, Lindy, you're still getting something. So don't. And and it might be quite epic. Or actually, I know it's going to be because I already know what. Or I know some of the stuff we're going to put in that box. <laughs> The you guys that are saying that you guessed it, either there was a lag or something, but it was done. We were done at that point, and we had already announced the number when your guesses came through. So I'm sorry. It's just the way the internet works. Haha, ha, it's okay. Let lavender. Okay, so lavender pants. You want the salt? By the way, is lavender pants? Are you a father? This truly was a, a Father's Day giveaway, yeah, is what it was supposed it just, to be, but not that it really matters. Yeah, we can't, we're not going back on that. Just, yeah, no, just, I was just curious. Um, so, yeah, I just flipped the coin, Lindy. That's all I did. Uh, so, um, oh, check. Zach sent you a oh. photo look at it. Okay. Hold on a second. But, what I didn't win. You didn't win Assault series, and you didn't win um, uh, Shit Show stuff. <laughs> oh. What? Well, Zach just sent me a picture. He actually guessed. Here it is, right here. It's 109. He guessed it on the money. And I didn't see that in my feed here. I went back mm -hmm. and looked. Because I, I can still go back. I can go back the whole way on my computer. I got my laptop up. And, uh, I, Zach, I. It just straight up isn't even. Your comment is not even on my laptop. I, I'm looking at it right now. Here, I'll, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. This is one of the reasons why I hate the. This kind of stuff happens on Big Red's deals. Yeah. Um,. I'm I'm gonna send you a picture, Zach. Yeah, I don't even have a guess from Zach. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's not even on there at all. Uh, I'm looking at my phone. He's got his laptop up. So yeah. just so you guys know, there's yeah, we're looking at two different two different things. But I, I'm sending you a, a I I just took a picture with my phone of my laptop screen. Uh, and I you can see where where I type the start and. When I type start, it's Lindy Lou with a thumbs up and then uh, uh, BLWNGT with a comment below that. And then Dylan Jones is the first number with 26. And then Tojo, Winchester. Uh, and then it goes from there. But Zach, I, I'm, I'm scrolling down through them and I don't see even any guess from you at all. Yeah, Uncharted is saying he guessed the same as well. But... <sighs> Andrew says, let's start it all over. <laughs> it, we're just going to keep having the same problems. Yeah, I mean, it just sucks because the it, the comment section just isn't reliable. Um, 
with this whole scenario. Yeah, Steve doesn't even see one from Zach. Really? Either on his end. All right, so here's the deal. Um, let's, uh, Zach, and I don't know if JB's in here from Big Red. <laughs> I don't know if he's in here or not because I don't remember if I saw him. But uh, I actually I actually have something that I'm sending Zach to you and to JB. Well, it's two different things, but... Zach says it's all dead. Yeah, no, I'm sure that it is, but... Um, I just hate that, I mean, if there was other people that chose, you know, that, that we just straight up didn't even see them, you know? Well, yeah, and people are saying a lot of times what happens is um, people that think they're chatting live, you have to go to live chat, not public. Yeah, no, I get it. Zach, Zach knows what he's... I, yeah, I'm whatever. sure Zach does, I'm just, I'm just I'm just saying, saying other like, people might have made that mistake. Zach, I already have a package that's coming to you, but... I'm now gonna put something else in there, so so we'll I'll I'll hook you up regardless on on a different scenario if that's okay with you, um, but I'll just proceed with what we already have going. Yeah, we're for gonna this. stick and to. I'm, we're not changing anything because our screen does rule. Yeah, this. then that's fine. Yeah, that, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah. I already had something that I was doing for Zach and JB. Um, so yeah. Different, uh, different deal altogether, but it, doing some custom stuff. But mm. yeah, got some cool stuff going on My for those two guys. My said I'm a winner. <laughs> All right, lavender pants, sir. You send me an email info at ocd for edc dot com uh, and get me your uh, address and let me know in that email which one of these four knives that you want. Um, you get your choice between yellow or black handle and plain and fully serrated edge. Uh, so tell me yellow or black and tell me plain edge or fully serrated. And that's the one you will receive along with the other things that we discussed. Lindy Lou, I already have your address, so you don't need to worry about sending it to me. And you're going to get a surprise box of shit. Uh, so you got that to look forward to. Um, Blades wants to know if you're still, still having the same thought about this way back. If you still dig it. I do. Uh, spirited. Um, where's it at? Hi, Karam Tozo. Hey, what's going on? Karam is hilarious. He makes me laugh. Yeah, um, it is what it is. Uh, Lavender's the winner. Then we had Lindy. Yep. Um, and in my opinion, we'll never do... Picking number ever again. Yeah, it's just a <laughs> shit. I mean, I, I wanted to do something for Father's Day, but I've seen this sort of headaches with the trying to do the live giveaways before on other channels, and I tried to... Uh, well, I thought this one would go smoothly just because we were doing just one and whatever, but it doesn't go smoothly, so whatever. I, well, be just, prepared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I mean, it's partly my fault because we weren't really prepared for it. We just kind of did it on a whim. Um, I do oh, have a 2,000 perfect. subscriber giveaway coming up very soon. That'll just be a standard video that I'll just select from comments uh, like normal. Uh, that's much easier because then it's not live and you don't have all the shit going wrong. Uh, but in this case here, Lavender Pants, you're the winner. <laughs> Lindy Lou, there's a package coming for you uh, of just surprise items. And then uh, if JB's on here, I guess now you guys... Zach and JB, there's packages coming to both of you guys as well oh that God. are unrelated to what's going on here tonight. But DJ, you're shit. But we'll, uh, yeah, hook you up. Ryan, about the swayback. Um, yeah, man, I like it. Uh, the the hollow grind was a surprise to me. I didn't know that it was going to be hollow ground. Uh, in the photographs, I didn't really care for this pocket clip. Uh, but it does work better in hand than I expected it to. And, you know, this clip Bye, son. functionally is very good. Good night. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, stud fishing. Have a good one, man. Brush your teeth before bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, the spoon clip works great uh, as far as functionality is concerned. And I don't mind that it's not totally deep carry. What do they cost? Uh, I think this one's like two BJ fifty or something or two seventy five or I don't know. Some stop throwing dollar bills at my husband. You cannot <laughs> see him naked. <laughs> Thank you very much, BJ. I greatly appreciate, it, sir. Um, oh, dinner, whatever. This uh, I think 
someone can say in the comments, I, I'm wanting to say they're 275 ish, 250, 275, something like that. Maybe it's 247. Hell, I don't know. Between two and three hundred dollars. <laughs> thank you, Chris. You're awesome too. Um, but yeah, I, I do like, like it. I think it's I think it's really well made. Um, I did a live video the other night where we disassembled it, and uh, yeah, it's just it's well constructed. The stop pins are very interesting in here. So if you haven't checked out that video, uh, go and check it out because the the stop pins are definitely worth taking a look at. Um, there, it's an interesting setup for sure. Thank you, Zach. I <laughs> really appreciate it. Shout out to all the fun giveaways are, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <coughs> well, it, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. But, but yeah, I think the swayback's pretty neat. Um, Ergo's good, question mark? Yeah, yeah, I don't Lavender have any issues. pants. You didn't have no. to do that. Well, thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate that. You didn't have to do that, but... Thank you. Uh, yeah, ergonomics are good. Uh, it's very, very neutral in hand. Uh, there's no jimping anywhere. You've got this tiny little choil area right there that sticks up slightly. And I actually kind of like that. Uh, just gives you, just lets you know you're about to slide up onto the blade. But otherwise, uh, the clip, <laughs> even though the clip stands up way off the scale, Thank it's you. still... Tojo, he said, I did not win. It's rigged. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Tojo. Uh, but to my surprise, the clip is good in both hands. Uh, you know, in my left hand where my fingers are hitting it, as well as in my right hand. Uh, the clip, in my opinion, actually offers some extra stability. It, it doesn't create a bunch of hot spot. And, and it really just, uh, it feels good. It really does. Oh my God, Sean! So <laughs> no, you didn't win. A cup of hot gooch. Nice. So yeah, I I really Thanks. like it. Uh, it's a nice one for sure. So so I think if if you're at all interested, you like the look. I think you'll be happy with it. The <laughs> overall construction. Uh, the other thing that I will mention it's is too bad the blades on backwards. Yeah, a lot of people said that. I actually, when I was uh, when I did the disassembly, I actually assembled this backwards, not fully. I caught I was myself with before. You, wasn't I? Yeah, you were. Yeah, in the, yeah. Uh, it just looks backwards because of the handle curvature back here. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I put the blade in backwards uh, and then caught myself. Yeah. So. I, yeah. But. BJ says he'll take two cups of hoot goo. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Talk uh, to your wife. The, uh, this is the most chamfering I have ever seen on a Tai Chung built Spider Co. So all the edges, mainly around the spidey hole and the spine of the blade and down here on the tang and stuff, all those edges are really, really <laughs> well chamfered that, and you know, generally on the Tai Chung Spider Co's, that is not the mm. case. So I'm just laughing at myself because I saw that Peshmerga Dave's in here, but oh. his name's not Peshmerga. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, D Dave yeah. bought uh, some knives or something. We shipped some yeah. stuff to Dave and yeah. And since we're so terrible at names, yeah. sometimes we just make some up for people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can you get a clip for the knife? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it's standard, you know, Spyderco, uh, bolt pattern on the clip. So between the small hole and the chamfers, is it a little hard to get? to it for deployment no i not really uh it takes a little bit of getting used to um the, the hole is i think i measured it's like around three hundred and thirty thousandths across the hole which on a standard spider co it's like five hundred and fifty thousandths so like on this caribbean or on a well on this canis it's a little smaller as well but like on the pm2 and the pair of three uh they're all like between 500, 550 thousandths in diameter. And this hole here is like 330 thousandths. But right-handed, utilizing your thumb, you cannot utilize, you cannot spidey flick this knife. If you can see the hole there. I mean, there's just nowhere near enough hole exposed. So this is a thumb opening only for right-handed. Uh, Left-handed, for me, I can spidey flick it out, but 
it Not takes well. a little getting used to. Uh, oh, that was the next question. Can you lefty spidey flick it? For sure. Yeah, definitely. Mm. It just takes a little getting used to. And my fingers are huge. So, um, you know, somebody that's got a little smaller fingers than what I have would be able to do this a lot easier. But, but yeah, totally. You, it's feasible. Definitely. You just, you just need to kind of get the, you know, a few minutes with the knife and you'll be good to go. Got to do your practice. Yeah. There you got to go. flick it all night long and annoy your wife. That's or right. Or your lady friend. Or your man friend. I don't know what your business is. Is it a knife you'd buy? He did. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, here it is. Um, uh, thickness behind the edge. It's one of the thinnest spider coves I've seen so far. And this one, my example, measured uh, 15 <laughs> to 16 thousandths behind the edge. And the hollow grind is very very nice i mean it's it's a tall hollow grind so you know it doesn't start to fatten up till about you know up into this area of the blade so theoretically you know you've got a lot of life on this blade before it starts to get uh any thicker behind the edge the canis looks murdery uh yeah a little bit that's another good one that exceeded my expectations this is an also also a hollow ground worn cliff um which is is really nice and you know it's compression lock so a little different than the than the uh uh swayback but but the swayback's bigger than i expected it to be so uh but it it's definitely you know fit and finish is very very nice bye Lori. have and a good night like i said just it exceeded my expectations yeah you just gotta get used to it so Exactly what I do. Annoy I, the wife fidgeting. It's, it's, yeah, we've had some issues lately. I'm going <laughs> to choke a motherfucker. Oh, here we go. Uh, That's the exact Zach Stump one, dollar nine. Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh, Freaking troll. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I'm pumped for you to get this package because uh, uh, I'm pretty, well, I hope you're going to be pumped with it anyway. We'll see. You we'll see. put whatever you're going to do in the box and then give it to me because I'm going to throw a bunch of fuckery in it well, for Zach. For Zach? Okay. Yeah. Why? Because he's a troll. Because he's trolling I'm going to troll his ass back. <laughs> you're trolling back, huh? All right. All right. So. All right. Well, um, yeah. Yeah. So my, my I guess the what I have to say about the Swayback is if you are... If you like the look of the Swayback and think that you might like it, then I think you're probably going to like it a lot. I think I think it will exceed your expectations. If you look at it and go, that's the most retarded thing I've ever seen, then chances are you're probably not going to like it. Uh, you Don't know. what me, Zachary. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, she, she's just messing with you, Zach. She, she's the... Yeah, she likes to send boxes of crap to people. Her and her friends, uh, this is something they've done for years. And they find it hilarious to send completely worthless items to each other. Yeah, and we used to go into our parents' homes like at Christmas and birthday time. This is like back like in like high school Clean days. out, you know, ask our parents for whatever crap they had that like, they just it, didn't need. And when, when, I, when I say crap, I'm talking like broken Christmas decorations and like literally things that you find in the trash that that should be there thrown away. There was some good stuff too. <laughs> Ice One skates time, that were four sizes too small or... Things uh, might not fit, but it doesn't mean they're not usable. <laughs> One time I even crocheted a freaking toaster cozy. So <laughs> don't toaster. forget that precious thing. Yeah, Also known as a fire starter. <laughs> That's oh, that is ne neither here nor there. <laughs> a toaster cozy. <laughs> uh, Whatever happened to old Carol Baskin? I, she's she gonna go to jail. There's I don't know. Fucking bitch. That fucking bitch. There's new <laughs> new stuff coming out. She, mm, yeah, she, she's nasty. Yeah, she done did it. Here, kitty, kitty. You should start a, exactly. You should start a box for someone. Zach, it's good fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. EDC fire starter, a crocheted koozie for your toaster. Um, right on. Well, uh, we've been going for quite some time here. Yeah, it's past so, me bedtime. Past your bedtime. Hey, Big Sean, how's it going? 
So anyway, guys, thanks so much. Such uh, language, I'll language you zero two three one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, well, uh, my wife has language problems. I don't uh, see it as a problem. <laughs> anyway, so thanks so much, guys. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, thanks for everybody <clears throat> tuning in tonight. Uh, I do have a, a more legitimate giveaway coming up very soon, uh, or well, as soon as I get to 2,000 subscribers, uh, which so should be pretty soon. Smash that subscribe button. Yeah, subscribe, put thumbs on it, all those things. Uh, and uh, yeah, happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Hope she everyone has enjoyed seizures. it. She can't help it. <laughs> uh, oh my God. Yeah, exactly. So, yep, congrats to all the dads out there. Hope everyone had a great day, and we will catch you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks so much. Fuck Bye. yourself, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>